Namaste. Hello, my dear beautiful viewers. How are you all doing today? I welcome you all to your channel. This is your host Shivangsh. Those who are new to my channel, thank you so very much for tuning in. I really, really appreciate that. I may be looking a bit tired. I have been doing readings back to back, back to back and I'm getting crazy, all right, with the energies. I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling like this new moon energy is doing something, right? Yeah, new moon energy is doing something on us, for sure. <clears throat> so we will see what is <clears throat> what is happening in our life, in your life. <coughs> oh. All of a sudden I started to have this throat activation, throat chakra activation and what I'm feeling is that somebody is getting ready to speak, alright, somebody is getting really, really, oh yeah, fourth chakra, archangel Raphael, alright, what is fourth chakra, heart chakra, right, Some uh, and uh, yeah, you see 25 energy and 38 energy, that's uh, 7 11 very catastrophic experience that you have gone through very very dark and shadowy energy that you have gone through which is very very deceitful very very deceitful energy that you have been dealing with or uh, the person that you are dealing with uh, they might be going through some kind of deceitful traits within them or they have energies around them that are those are like toxic and deceitful kind of people all right and this person is struggling to speak their heart out with the fourth chakra archangel raphael all right so deceitful energy is been dealt by the heart chakra that means this person the person that you are dealing with whatever toxicity that they are dealing with be it their own bs behavior or their past insane karmas if they are put by the universe to see their own karmas or they are in a situation where they are seeing other people's dark face and you know where they have to speak from their heart to these people or they have to even face if they are doing the it for by themselves all right then they will also have to face their deceitful nature right they have to have a one-on-one -on -one with themselves why they have put that kind of karmas in the past uh, all right so now what i'm feeling is that whatever is the situation be it this deceitful nature of them or they are experiencing uh, outer influences around them with that energy there is a fact where they have to talk with their heart space they have to speak their heart out Probably that's why I have that choking, you know, in my uh, throat. <clears throat> Somebody is having hard time speaking, uh, seeing their wrong behaviors or seeing even there the love interest of your life, their wrong behavior, but they don't have that courage uh, to come out. Yeah, you see. All right, Hermit and the Queen, uh, King of uh, Swords. All right, yep. This person needs to fight, all right? This person needs to fight for this connection with somebody, all right? This person really needs to fight with somebody because of this connection. And this person has been put by the universe to see their deceitful nature, all right? They are in this hermit mode. And when they are in this hermit mode and seeing the evil faces of others around them in their external surface and the evil energies within them, internal surface where they need to speak it out speak it out from their heart chakra how they feel what they feel uh, for themselves or for these people or for even you all right but fact of the matter is this person really really want to feel victorious and wants to really really heal this connection and really want to fight for this connection period I don't feel like to pull any further card but let me see whatever information I bought for you if this message is being validated by the universe or not all right absolutely all right absolutely because you see I told you that this person wants to feel uh, wants to fight for this connection right whatever these people are doing to share this connection this toxic people, deceitful people, traitor kind of people, whatever they are trying to do to shiver this shining beautiful connection, you see, the way these cards are shining, all right, 
the way they are trying to sever this connection this person wants to fight for this connection now with this all bs people because they strongly feel about this connection because of the you know page of uh, wants if it would have been page of sword then i would have taken it like no this message is not resonating but with the page of wands no this person really feels for this connection that's the reason we got this message they want to feel victorious with this connection and they want to heal this connection you see because they feel that they have passion for this connection you see most of these are one energy all right one energy all right and this person is carrying that want and have that enlightenment about who is what about who is what about what is this all right about this deep intense connection where there is a lot of passion you know this kind of passion is not something like lustful all right let me clear it out this energy of uh, of this passion uh, that is showing up here with the wands energy this is not like lustful kind of energy this is very innocent kind of what happens when a teenage guy falls in love this is something that kind of an energy when a teenage guy falls in love they they are like you know i'll fight with the world for this love 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 all right this that kind of love i'm feeling like this person has acted like a king of swords cold detached showed all the bs energies of them in the past fought with you and walk out of your life showing you this face of them which was evil toxic where you came into a place where damn this and damn this and then you started to have a lot of question you gone within they shiver this tie went into a different direction and that's when they met uh, their dark side you know what what happens only in separation you actually see who you are so you should be happy that you guys came into separation because this separation has helped this person to die uh, to kill their ego self all right kill this toxic energy of them all right because god put them into that hermit mode for sure because we have a male depiction out here when they got into that um hermit mode they came up with this understanding oh this is very soulful and 17 is the star card that is the one seven partnership house all right and what is this two of cups is all about partnership something will take place in the full moon all right something is going to take place in the full moon and this person i'm feeling like this person is really really speaking it out talking out loud to other people because seven of swords a seven of wands sometimes i see it like uh, multiple people all right talking to multiple people about this connection and whatever fighting they are having you see six to the seven whatever fighting they are having they are going through a rebirth resurrection death rebirth and resurrection kind of process all right which is very very tormenting for them very very tormenting it's like their 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 heart has been cracked open to see the truth the depth of this connection when they got into the depth of this connection that's when you guys may not be in talking terms for the last two months seven months seven uh, six months all right or nine months or some for some it is probably a year all right or 17 months or, almost uh, so when they have gone through that death and resurrection process during this fight, during this war, they, they actually had a war, all right. During this war, after they had died and resurrected in this process, they they came out to be that page of want, all right. And they, they really, really want to heal this connection with their passion, with their drive, uh, all right, with how they feel about this connection. Because they really feel, see, this one is looking into the cup. All right and behind is the star energy the universe energy protecting this connection protect protecting this passion all right protecting this connection all right yeah this connection the the the, the universe is having an eye on this connection all right that's the reason this person was brought into their knees you know to fight for this connection if you strongly feel this connection then fight for it fight for it all right and that's what they are doing they are going within fighting with their own dark energies and coming out clean healed then again going within fighting with the dark energy if this person has been seeing their dark energy every day every day they get a new illumination you know and then like okay i'm understanding
understanding this. Okay, there I went wrong. Okay, I need to make it right this way. Okay, again the next day they will get another. You know, this energy is switching and shifting from one to the other. All right, it's a very fast moving. So I'm doing this reading. Today is the second day of the full moon. All right, it's new moon. All right. So whenever you see this reading, you will come to this understanding that. Uh, you know this illumination uh, will take place more and more and more understanding will take place all right why i'm saying this because of this three cards we have a full moon out here there is this hermit and the star all night energy right we are not having any sun energy out here we are having night energy and you see passion is also about night energy you know are you getting me what I'm saying? So it's all night energy. This person is feeling passion. This person is feeling so love. Go, go, go for it. Not I'm talking about in a lustful way, all right. What happens when you feel some connections intensely? You know, at this point in time when the intensity is increased, it's not a, you cannot even think about having sex. It's more like, let me... If I can just see this person once, all right, if I can just hear this person once, uh, if I get to know where this person is, if I have been forgiven, if they are doing fine, you know, you guys will come to a point, uh, you know, when your energy will be like this, when you guys are going to come into union, because healing is taking place, illuminations are taking place, all right, so as the moon will start to grow in the sky, and it will turn out to be full moon, something will be illuminated, and a spark will take place, all right, because this devil energy, it's very dark, all right, it's going to go, okay and in this process this person is still fighting while you are watching this reading this person is fighting with uh, fighting all the bs with other people this person is medium was here this person is fighting uh, the entire devil all right entire toxicity this person is fighting any every talk of toxicity be it within them be it external that is coming in between this connection all right Whoever is coming in this connection, in between this connection, be it their own dark self or be it somebody else, it has been taken care by this. It has been, uh, you know, their soul is taken care and they're fighting for, for this connection right now with themselves and with others as well. All right. And healing is taking place. And this person is going through that, that death and rebirth process. And they are getting in that alignment in their heart space to speak their heart out. To speak their heart out. All right. And when when you feel that intensity, it's more about like just one time, you know, if one time I see this person, talk to this person, I will not care. Like they will come in that energy all of a sudden, like I don't really care whatever is going to be the consequence. I need to reach out and they will reach out. All right. So don't get carried away if they they fumble or they you know be, behave like uh, again like you know but try to calm yourself down and try to understand from where they are coming all right um because the kind of support that you got be it through tarot card be psychic medium or whatever has been a source of um you know path sure in your path of a soul evolution journey their experience was completely different than yours all right so you have to sometimes see certain things from others perspective all right you have to see certain things from others perspective all right put yourself into their shoes okay you have experienced something in a subtle level with the god with the universe all right you had a fight with the universe you were having a war with the universe but this person actually have fought with their own bs own lies and also with the 3d people could be family parents mother father siblings uh colleague or at the job place all right, this person have uh, have fought uh, multiple battle with the three D, with the three D people. All right, with the three D people itself. Okay, so there for for them it has been really challenging. But for you it was more like you were fighting with your own consciousness. All right, you are evolving. You are shed, you are shedding your dark skin, dark uh, self. You know, in your soul level, but their lessoning, learning their soul lessons were very different than yours. All right. Hence, uh, don't be judgmental in this connection. Be open, be flexible, and be uh, be strong at your end. All right. About how you feel. 
all right and when this person reach out to you to communicate be mindful about it all right from where they are coming try to see things from their perspective all right and don't be too cold and detached and cutthroat all right because you see there is no female energy all right i can see only male energy except for this two okay so healing is this is like universal energy for me you know universe has your back uh, for this connection you're right so this is what universe is doing you know universe is re trying to reignite the passion make this person evolve and grow as fast as possible clearing their karmic debts understand this connection for what it is accept this truth all right and then get ready to speak their truth with this heart chakra from their heart all right yeah this person is going through a lot of anxiety at this point in time possibly losing out on money finances or whatever or probably you know literal relationships because when they are fighting having fight there will be a fall fall apart all right some way shape or form all right they may share those ties with those people i'm feeling like that i'm having a lot of pain also all of a sudden because I'm feeling like this person is going through a lot of uh, uh, painful experiences right now. I'm not seeing it as a tower kind of energy. It's more like just awakening, you know, just awakening. Like what happens when you feel like guilt, regret or remorse kind of energy? And that's how I'm feeling. This person has been feeling like regret and remorse kind of energies. Why I did not do it before. Why I couldn't see it before why i did not take an action when the time was right because this person is feeling like they are losing out on time and they are losing out on patience because their passion is high all right they really want to speak their heart out they are fl flowing with love and emotions for this connection not in their wildest dream they want to share with this tie you know what they have what they have already disconnected, uh, you know, from you. They thought that they have actually shared this tie and, uh, you know, it was like my way or the highway. They had it. But at the end of the day, there was nothing for them, you see. There was actually nothing for them. It was you who was making a difference into their life. It was you who was bringing that light, that healing, you know, that life force in them. After they share the tie with you, they are not feeling that life force within them. And this energy has brought them into a place where they were able to see what this connection is all about. And they kept getting that nudge from the universe that you need to take an action to heal this connection. And that can be done only when they will transform themselves, only when they will come in their power to deal with other people around with their BS. And if it is their BS within them, the dark side, deceitful energy they have to now temper that and speak from their heart space not from their mind space all right because deceit and heart fourth chakra is two different energy deceit is mind energy heart chakra is about all heart all right in fact the heart of the matter is you should be always truthful to a connection all right you should always be truthful to a connection be honest to a connection you should never try to share with this kind of connection you should always try to protect and heal this connection but no head in in your head this negative energy get caught up you had to experience with the 27 number i can say 25 number that adds up to seven with the seven number i can say and 38 eight is all about transformation and three plus eight is 11 all right under this card there is this anxiety so this person is going through some kind of anxiety and anxious kind of energy all right uh, for not having certain amount of clarity and i feel that clarity is coming towards them how to make an, a move how to talk it out how to open their heart out how i mean how i can do it you know how i can rearrange and fix this all right that's how i'm feeling because in their heart this person is really really like a page of wands all right they really really feel passionate about you okay it's really i'm not feeling any any negative thoughts like sex and all no now it's for them it is like they are just fine even if they don't have any kind of physical uh, contact with you it is just that if i just see this person once all right have a cup of coffee together have a chit chat only this much will make this person happy at this point in time you know they are just thinking about this much only this person is not thinking about what is going to happen after five years but five years back, probably when you met each other, they had this, I don't know what, 
will happen in future. So they run away, shiver this time. Instead of fighting for this connection, they started to fight with you. And then this relationship fell apart. All right. And that's when, when you guys fell apart, you saw your dark face, they saw their dark face, you saw the external influences of others in this connection, how this has become a hindrance, third party entered, and then here also, there were a lot of garbage that they have been carrying from the past, which they need to clear, they had to see their own dark side, and the dark energies that they have been dealing with, toxicity, and these are the clearing that, that, that is taking place right now, so you know universe is asking me to let you know that uh, just prepare yourself to be astound all right prepare to get astound all right and uh, and if you have this question like uh, you know all there is to love has been there all already all right so if you have been concerned about or worrying about i don't know where this connection is going then universe is saying that trust in the process my dear and you see interestingly back to back this three cards came for you and one card just fell down that star all right and we got the star card it's a confirmation for you star is confirming the star card page of wand is confirming with the love charm all right and this card says attract a lover soulmate or life partner okay that is clarified by the two of cups no coincidence okay <clears throat> and one enchanted evening you see i told you this page just wants to have just one day with you you know to talk their heart out to open their heart out all right and one and they are waiting for that one perfect night or one perfect and see this card says that one perfect night and i told you about night energies all right so you see these are just validating and i just wanted three cards to confirm these three energies and this actually was clarified like this by my other deck i wanted to clarify this card to see how confirmation how much of confirmation i have with my own messages because I'm already been crazy and star was clarified by star and this card says the silver energy of the star brings good luck and serendipity good luck and you know universe is working at your back beyond your eyes meet to restore this connection that connection that fell apart all right and this page of wands is waiting on an enchanted evening to have a perfect night with you to talk their heart out and feel that passion again all right just one night they are praying for one night this person is manifesting you with the hermit and star card and star card confirming twice it's one seven x is this person and because i got the heart chakra this person is actually manifesting you another one card that says love uh, charm attract a lover soulmate or life partner what this card says it talks about soulmate right a spiritual bond a spiritual connection life partner all right past life connections right so this is what is con confirming so then henceforth my message is validated prepare to be astound because this person is getting ready to talk to you all right about how they feel for you and that what is what was the reason why they had to run uh what are the things that was there on the way uh, on this connection that because of which they could not come towards you now it is going to be taken care of all right by them they will reach out to you all right they will reach out to you because this passion is within them all right and you also are feeling somewhat like the deep soul bond all right it's the mirroring energy for both of you because of the full because new moon is heading towards full moon and this two person are looking at each other projecting their energy all right so if you're feeling like very you know butterfly butterfly like kind of i want to meet and feeling happy trying to look good you know something that kind of an energy is taking place in your life right now you're feeling like that then this is really your message and your dm is feeling like that to come towards you if not then this message is not yours all right or you may you know this may be coming to you like a uh, like a future prediction of yours you may start to feel something like this as the moon will start to grow in the sky until full moon you probably will start to feel like that wow what happened to me all of a sudden i'm changing my energy is changing i'm singing and dancing i'm trying to look beautiful and doing some makeover and this and that and you will understand that that oh i heard this message all right so this message may come to you in any shape or form take however it resonates for you all right but somebody really is passionate for you feeling this connection in their bones in their cellular body mm. 
Are you getting me? What I'm saying by cellular body. Every cell of your of their body, they're feeling this connection. They're feeling it, feeling it, they're feeling it, all right? So universe is asking you to be prepared to be as town. And you see there is this new moon again in the sky, all right? New moon in the sky. So there is something with this moon energy. And we are already having a cosmic dance out there between the Venus and Mars. So this cosmic dance is going to bring two lovers together, all right? So continue to vibe in that energy. Only that's when you are able to manifest this connection into your life for whoever you are watching this reading. Okay? So I hope this message has helped you, my dear beautiful viewers. Until we meet again, I'm sending across much love and light to you all. Om Namah Shivaya. Stay blessed and in peace. Bye-bye.